If you had to choose five things to be known for, what would you pick? I think becoming the person that you want to be requires a lot of effort because otherwise you and I, we can just slip into this lesser version of ourselves if we're not intentional. In our March Whimsy and Wonder Box, we added these journal prompts on becoming. And day 16, describe five things you want to be known for. My first word, it's integrity, because I want to be a person who has both a good reputation, also good character. Reputation, that's what other people think you are, and character, that's who you really are. My second word is leadership and where I've spent most of the time in my life. Leaders, they see what's possible and they help others achieve it. I always want to be known for that. My third word, it's got to be creativity. I want to be filled with ideas that make our lives and our home a much better place. And fourth, you have to follow that up with action because good ideas not executed don't amount to anything. And fifth, I don't really know what to call this, but I want to be a person of optimistic love because while we can see possibilities, there's also a lot of mountains standing in our way. And what if we could use our skills to lovingly get around those with each other? I think the best friends love us as we are and also they prompt us to grow. Those are my five words, but I would love to hear yours because around here we do mostly vintage, but on Tuesdays we stop and we talk about transformation because a little more joy for our journey, everybody needs that. You are never too old and never too young to become the person that you are meant to be.